What's up guys, Doom Week here. Welcome to another video on the channel. As you can see, we're going to be playing a little bit of Pioneer today. A little bit more Pioneer action for you. But before we continue, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section down below. Are you guys enjoying the Pioneer content? Because I'm having an absolute blast playing the format. It's really nice to kind of get like a, you know, a bit of a break from Modern and explore Pioneer. Because there's so many new cards over the past past couple of sets that have been you know f fairly impactful in the pioneer format and i haven't gotten to play a ton of pioneer because i've been focusing a lot of my efforts on modern so as i take a break from modern we're going to be playing a little bit more pioneer and kind of exploring some of the newer sets and uh, some of the newer cards that have made an impact in the format and today we have one of those new cards on the screen right in front of you it's hinata dawn crown so this is a particular deck list that i saw uh on twitter somebody 5 would i think it was the correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was the brainstorm brewery folks um i, th I think their username was cave dan if i recall correctly i think that's where i initially saw the 5-0 list but essentially we are trying to utilize hinata with um using the ability and we're using that in combination with magma opus so let's go over what hinata does essentially hinata um is a you know pretty big beat stick four four flying trample for four spells you cast cost one less for each target and then spells your opponent's cast cost one more for each target so why is that good if you pair it with a card like magma opus magma opus is an eight mana card says deals four damage divided as you choose among any number of targets Tap two target permanents, make a 4-4, four, four, draw two cards. So, the first ability, four damage divided as you choose, which means you can have up to four targets. And then, two target lands, which means you can have up to six targets. So, if you have six total targets for Magma Opus and a Hinata in play, it only costs two mana. So, you can spend two mana to divide four damage, tap two permanents, make a 4-4, four, four, and draw two cards. As you can imagine, it's a pretty powerful effect. We're also combining that with uh, March of Otherworldly Light to kind of get a bit of a discount on that. Settle the Wreckage, a little bit of a discount on that because it targets a player. Prismari Command, small discount on that. And then March of Swirling Mist, small discount on that. So we have uh, Magma Opus as kind of the card that we're really going in on in terms of the, the, the synergy that we're trying to abuse. And then we have some other small synergies that, you know, shave, shave a mana here and there. Um, and then there's also some really important matchups where Hinata... Uh, really uh specifically the lotus field matchup because your opponent is trying to cast uh hidden strings on lotus field so hidden strings is a card that targets two permanents so if your opponent targets a lotus field in a, in a just some other land they have to spend five mana on their hidden strings and they're only getting four mana back so it's actually makes hidden strings into uh net negative mana if they target two lotus fields they spend five mana get six back so it's plus one but you're still messing with the math a little bit there so it's really good and then the rest of the deck is just kind of the classic money pile that I'm sure you're all used to at this point uh, within the Pioneer format. Sylvan Carried It, Expressive Iteration, Grow Spiral. Uh, we got a little bit of ramp here, a little bit of card selection. Omnath because Omnath is busted. And that's pretty much the entire deck. And then a couple of Torrential Gear Hulks. Because we are playing four Magma Opus, there's going to be some games where we have a couple of ramp spells. We can just spend two mana, discard a Magma Opus, untap, maybe turn five, play a Torrential Gear Hulk, and get a Magma Opus that way as well. So just more ways to abuse the Magma Opus synergy. Mana base, nothing fancy here. Bunch of Triumphs, Fable Passages to go with Omnath, Shocklands Basics. Uh, a couple check lands, pretty straightforward stuff. Sideboard, just go over it very briefly here. We have Rest in Peace for Phoenix and the other uh, Grease Fang decks. There's a lot of graveyard decks that are that have been popping up lately. Settle the Wreckage, uh, numbers three and four. This is probably your best Wrath because you don't want to play Supreme Verdict as you're you're you play a lot of creatures yourself with Hinata, Omnath, and Carried It. So this is kind of the the best sweeper you can play in terms of it's not killing your own stuff and the exile clause is very relevant against things like arclight phoenix thing in the ice um there's you know the parhelion decks that try to attack you like they try to grease fang into parhelion and make a giant swing so settle the wreckage pretty good card right now i think portable hole which is here to mainly answer oni cult anvil because that's one of the most popular decks in the pioneer format right now and it's just a good you know removal spell that has a very wide range of targets so it's good to have access to narset here for all the combo decks it's good against phoenix it's good against lotus field it's good against jeskai ascendancy um just stopping your opponent from drawing extra cards very very important negate for the control matchup and then wear tear for the artifact decks like insole artifact and the machiko's reign of truth and, and things of that nature 
So that's the deck list. Uh, it's, uh, I had a lot of fun playing this. This was actually a league that we played live on stream last night. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. And uh, without further ado, I will see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. All right, here we go. Round one. Let's go. Uh, I have a turn three Hinata, so keep, I guess. I mean, a lot of mana sources, but this hand has to be a keep, right? And that has just like got really good stats too, you know. Just like good, just good stats. It's a good draw step. Lotus Field. This matchup seems awful. <laughs> we have like nothing for it either, right? We have negate. Narset's not even really that good. Ah, uh, I guess Narset stops the uh, the black card. We just have to play Hinata here, right? Try and pressure them. <clears throat> Hinata. Curious what the design decision on the trample was. Well, think of it this way, right? It's a Jeskai card. So, flying is the blue ability. Trample is the red ability. And then spell taxing is the white ability. I guess it's kind of like four abilities though, right? So. It's like a Jeskai card with four abilities, which is kind of weird. I guess the spells you cast cost one less is just the just a generic colorless ability. <sighs> this is not good. <clears throat> this is not good. I guess we start with iteration. Because our hand sucks. So I guess we go hand, bottom, exile. Play this, play this. Attack. We're, we're so dead. There's no way we're ever beating this, this deck. This matchup just seems atrocious. Hidden Strings doesn't work right now. I did not realize that. This actually makes Hidden Strings net neutral. I did not realize that. That's kind of cool. Because it costs 5 mana. Alright, okay. That's not bad. That might be relevant. You can go Passage, Crack, and then Cycle Triome. Guest. I wish this deck had a companion. <clears throat> Any companions this deck can play? A lot more annoying than you think at first read. Yeah, that's fair. Could I have Gigantha? No, because we have Torrential Gear Hulk. Maybe Gear Hulk's not worth playing. Oh, yeah, Settle, too. Yeah, you probably have to cut too much. We could play Yorion, right? What if we just made this a Yorion deck? It's the win con for Lotus Field. Um, approach of the Second Sun. So basically what they do is they draw their deck, or they draw half their deck with Peer, and then they just, like, put an Omniscience into play, and then they just cast Approach, dig, 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 cast Approach. Yeah, pure ultimatum. Yeah. I actually probably fucked up. I think what I was supposed to do... I think I was supposed to hold my fetch and not cycle the Triome. Because then I would have had lethal. Right? I would have had 12. 4, 8, and then if I leave the fetch lane in play, it's 12. I can kill them if I draw Spiral. Yeah, Spiral's lethal. 
Spiral, 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 spiral. Damn it. I think I screwed this game up. I think I was supposed to not crack the fetch last turn. It's bad. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't think about needing the four damage from Omneth, but yeah, that was bad. I thought I wanted to crack the fetch to get mana to cycle, but uh, it, it just wasn't worth it, I don't think. If I had just done the math. Just like kill the grazer, put them to 12, and then I have 12 in play. Yeah, we did, I mean. But like, I could have just won the game, right? Well, if they have nothing else, Omnath is still lethal. Because I have the fetch lane in play. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably game. <laughs> yeah, Omnath is no longer lethal. We're dead to dig through time. We're dead to another approach. Thought distortion. That doesn't matter. <laughs> That's a good card. That's a pretty good card with an omniscience. <laughs> you ever just triple demonic tutor when you have omniscience in play? Alrighty then. Uh, negate Narset. Mm, settles coming out. And March is coming out. This thing taps lands, right? Oh, this is creatures. This card sucks. I mean... I guess I could protect my creatures against an Ugin Minus? Is that more or less relevant than having, like... Wear Tear, which doesn't have many targets. This to kill a Grazer. It's all kind of bad, right? Blue March Fogs. Yeah, but they're not playing creatures. They're playing Lotus Field, right? I mean, it's still probably better than these cards. These cards don't do anything. We could have wear tear for omniscience, maybe. Alright, same place. Would be nice if I didn't pump that game one. Are they on brought back? No, these decks usually aren't, brought, aren't on brought back. If a sinkhole in modern has been called. Uh, I don't know about that one. Break the ice is sinkhole at home, right? <laughs> yeah, you get it. You get it. Sylvan scrying. Scry. Hinata. Turns out Ursa Saga did. No, Prismatic ending killed Tron. That's the one that really killed Tron. White, red, green, blue. Give me a good card to draw. Good card, please. That's a good card. That is a good card. Ask and you shall receive. <clears throat> this actually doesn't shut a lot of their cards off, but it does shut off Pier. So, we have a two-turn clock and we have Pier shut off. Yeah, it shuts off enough. They got a stage, but they don't have mana to use the stage now. 
And again, the cool thing about Hinata is that Hidden Strings is, is not plus mana. It's break even on mana. So Hinata kind of shuts off Hidden Strings, which is actually really important. Just kill them. Um, no, but I can tap their Thespian stage on upkeep. Is that relevant? Isn't it plus two mana when they're string two fields? Well, it costs five to cast. <laughs> So it's plus one mana. I can upkeep tap the stage, which I th think is a good play. Right? Five. So if I go target stage, target my land, target them, it costs five, right? We're going to do a test run. Divide four damage. So four damage, tap this, tap this. Yeah, cost five. Okay, so I, I can just play the fetch land, leave it in play. Yep, no, I know, I know, I know. I'm tapping one of my permanents. I'm just doing another upkeep. Uh, Doom Wake wins. Dope. Uh, game three, let's go. Let's do that again. I feel like every hand that doesn't have Sylvan Carry did is just completely atrocious. Well, there's the carry did. Put back Prismari Command, I think. It's either Command or Growth Spiral. Command's kind of cool with Hinata, but... I mean... Actually, Growth Spiral kind of sucks in this hand, right? Yeah, let's just put back Growth Spiral. If you tap creatures, you might kill them due to a moto bug. I mean, I'm not out here trying to abuse bugs. Come on. That ain't me. That ain't me. The good old carry to combo. What, two lands plus carry did? It's a classic combination. We're just playing a combo deck. And now it does clock pretty quickly, so I don't know. Turn three, four, four flyer. It's not that bad. That's bad. <clears throat> Why is this thing legendary? Damn it. Do have negate, which is good. Um, I think I should iteration here. <clears throat> negate plus pay, pay for dispute. Well, my negate only costs one mana, anyways, right? No, I dropped the pioneer challenge. I O two dropped. I mean, if I cast Iteration, what am I even looking for? I don't really know what I'm looking for with Iteration here, right? I could just play Land Pass. I just hold up Prismari Command to Gate. Opus. I can't cast Opus, though, right? Costs five mana. We talked about this last time. Because I only have three targets. Uh, yeah, I only have three targets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. Four targets? No, I can't tap the Lotus Field. Oh, but I can tap my own land. Oh, no, 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 but if I tap my own land, it's only three. Right? It's two permanents and them. It's three targets. Target myself. Oh, I can target myself for one? 
I could also target my carry to two. I could go like one to me, one to carry to two to them, and then two lands. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have my echoes to pass, huh? So loot treasure. <clears throat> Ooh. Wait, can I cast the opus now? I can, right? And hold up negate? Holy shit. I can discard Spiral Hinata, and I can Opus hold up Negate. <coughs> yeah, I'm doing that shit. Okay, so we need to go divide four damage. One, two, three, four. And then two permanents to make it cost six, or to make it cost two. Which I think is fine. I want to hold up Negate because I think they might have a Counterspell. Yeah, I like this. Okay, well, this is correct. <laughs> oh, look, it's still bugged. Look at this. Targeting Yavamaya Ghost for 64. Y'all ever, ever just deal 64 damage to a Yavamaya Ghost? <laughs> you, you, ever just, you ever just deal 64 to a Yavamaya Ghost? <laughs> <laughs> that Yavamaya is fucking dead. <laughs> uh, well, I have Negate in a two-turn clock. Let's see if we can find a second counter spell. Uh, one mana short of this. God damn it. I think I'm going to put the Spiral in my hand, because I can Spiral into a second Negate. Oh no, I can just I can just iteration again, right? Cause I wanna find one more piece of interaction. So I think I'm gonna put spiral in my hand, exile the triome, and then just iteration again. Yeah, let's do that. I wanna find one more negate. Pog. Uh, hand, bottom, exile, and then, I mean, I could play the opus. Does this make a treasure? No. All right, no opus. Attack for eight, hold up two negates. Your turn. <clears throat> I can just negate the first two spells they play. Right? I was gonna say does that cost one does that cost one more, but it doesn't because this doesn't target lands. I think we're good. Uh that actually does buy them a turn. <laughs> Because I can't kill it. <laughs> Awkward. It does buy them a turn. I have a lot of outs to kill them, but... Well, not a lot, but... Let's try another Opus. That's pretty good. Pog. Blue red. Uh one, two, three, four. Five six. Okay. I don't know. I I fucked up somewhere. Who cares? They're dead. Just draw one forehead. All right, 1-0. Oh, 
Chat, this time the Arboreal Grazer took 64. Sheesh. Round number two. <clears throat> oh, it's whatever you target twice. I see, I see, I see, I see. I mean, I usually... I don't really often bulligan hands that have Sylvan Carry did, but this one's pretty bad. Okay, this one's better. Put back the second... No, actually, I'm gonna put back Growth Spiral. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna put back Growth Spiral. It's like, Autumn Mulligan, Growth Spiral is already not that good, and we only have two lands, so... You want to put back Iteration? I mean, I just, like, I don't know. What's the point of keeping the second... What's the point of keeping the Growth Spiral when you're on two lands? On a mulligan already. The bug doesn't involve targeting twice. Oh. The first tap target that does the insane damage. That's very, very odd. I feel like this is going to get countered, and I'm going to be very sad. Not going to get countered. Cacfiend, thank you for the five. And bottom, exile, play this. Thank you for the five. Chat, don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription per month to a streamer of your choice. Doesn't have to be me. Just make sure you're utilizing your Amazon Prime subscription, exclamation point, Prime, for more information. Did we get four spiked? I feel like it's not worth getting four spiked because I don't have a. If I had a fetch land, it's different. But because I don't have a fetch land, I just I'm just not gonna get four spiked. Like, what's four life? Who cares about four life? <laughs> Am I a coward? Probably, but. Mm hmm. This one. Mm. I mean, I guess I want the carry, did, right? to get me more mana towards the Gear Hulk. <clears throat> Whoa. Foretold card, huh? Um, I could have Mystical Dispute. I mean, I think I'm still going to play the Omnath here. Cast Omnath. What's the foretold cost on the counter spell? Is it two mana? Is it blue and a colorless? Oh, no. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was blue blue. I, I legit thought it was blue blue. I didn't see that coming. All right. Gross spiral. Mm, it's probably not going to resolve, but. White, red, blue, this. Hinata! Actually, don't have six targets, though. Right? One, two. Oh, no, I do. I can go creature, creature, player, player, land, land. I might upkeep. I might upkeep this opus. Just so they don't have blue mana. Is that bad? I kind of want to upkeep the opus. I think it's good. Especially if they make a token. I'll just kill the token. Consider. This interaction is pretty fucked up. Casting this card for two mana is absurd. It's completely insane. What's this? Four mana. The Wandering Emperor. Exile target tapped creature. 
and they can make a 2 2. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So I could go one to them, one to Emperor, one to Karyn, and one to Hinata, and then tap two lands. Then the Emperor goes to two, and then they can minus one to make a two-two, but then Hinata still kills it. I think that's fine, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so one, 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 one. Oh, right, they can plus on their end step. Right, right, I'm done. I'm done. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty-four damage. Every time I see that, it's just like sixty-four damage. By the way, sixty-four damage. By the way, two mana. What do we got? Dovin's veto. Sure. It's fine. <laughs> Say 69. That would be gas. So I guess they can plus Wandering Emperor. And then it doesn't die to Hinata. But then I can Opus again. Oh, if they do that, I have, I have planes, so I don't really care that much. I have planes. I have four cards. Good Gear Hulk. It's probably a lot worse if they have a counter spell though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have quite enough to Gear Hulk and Opus, because I need eight mana for that. So let's just go attack Wandering Emperor. I think I'm gonna try and cast Opus again. And then just hold up Spiral. Yeah, I'm going to try and Opus again. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Red, blue. <clears throat> 64 damage to the island. No big deal. Just a, just a cool 64. Just a nice, a nice clean 64, as they say. A nice clean 64. Okay. Uh, I guess I could grow Spiral now in case I find another Opus. Which is probably fine, right? Alright, go. I think if you click and unclick and reclick the tap target, then it stacks up insane damage. I was playing this deck earlier in the bug report for some millions of damage on a forest. Should we test the waters, perhaps? Squid Squad! Tier 1, 10 months. Thank you for the 10 months of support, Squid Squad. Much appreciated. Welcome back. Thank you for the 10 months of Tier 1. Out of his mind. Thank you very much. Alright, attack your Wandering Emperor. I guess they could have Seal Away. Seal Away would be kind of unfortunate. This deck seems sweet. Yeah, that's nice. The interaction between Hinata and Opus is so sick. Oh. Oh, they can't... 
they're trying to cast oh they're trying to cast march because did you see the azorius charm when entered the exile zone they're trying to cast march but they can't actually march this because it costs one additional mana so they have to pitch two cards oh my god and then they just care hulk opus them and then the game's over yeah it resolves uh, do I even play the iteration this turn? I think I'm going to hold it for next turn. So just go blue, blue, five, six, Gear Hulk, Opus. Let's go two here, two here. Divide four damage, tap land. Okay. Mean. Arch is not the best here, but that verdict. Memory deluge. Both know that'll break the client if you try that while streaming, even with the new PC. Oh yeah, hundred percent. The client's just gonna crash. You have a single rare mythic. Nice. Congrats, Taps. That's that's sweet. What'd you draft? Well, at least they're not casting Verdict this turn. They might cast Verdict next turn, but we'll see. We have a two-turn clock. If they find a March, they can March the token. Are they going to field into March? Nope, not fielding into March. All right, let's iteration. Let's see if we can find Omnath. Um, oddly enough, I kind of don't want to cast that because I think they have to cast Wrath anyways. So I think I'm just gonna do this play land. Cycle this now. Not a bad card. Attack for nine. I'm, I just don't want to play the... I don't want to play out the, the odd math. I think this is enough of a board. <clears throat> can loot away these fucking March of Otherworldly Lights too, which is nice. We can even loot away two of them and still have one for a token. Like, if their plan is just token block what block the gear hulk, we can just kill the token, so. It's under move on, summon discard, beetle, block, and play already dead. Just miss again, bring us back, creatures, and you know. I found that beetle to be, like, really underrated. I, I had, I actually had, I think I had two of them in my pre release deck. You can do a lot of stuff with the beetle. Underrated card for sure. Draw two, discard two. I want to do loot two damage. Two damage, target, draw two. So two damage, draw two. I don't I don't really need the, the treasure when I have this much mana. An opus, huh? I guess I'll keep the second march. I don't. I don't really need to land. Uh, go to combat. Go to combat. Am I gonna get settled? Make a token. Defeat your token. Cast. Done. Defeat your token. Zorius Charm, my token. Okay. I kill you with Magma Opus. This thing's impossible to cast. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh... Wait. What 
What just happened? I thought I tapped the Gear Hulk. Did I not tap the Gear Hulk? <laughs> I guess I didn't tap the Gear Hulk. <laughs> I guess I killed the Gear Hulk and didn't tap it. They charmed the Gear Hulk? No, they charmed the token. <laughs> K Smith gifting a sub to Dancing Jersey. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. I tapped Gear Hulk. I thought I did tap Gear Hulk. I swear to God, I tapped Gear Hulk. I swear to God, I, I if, if watch the VOD. I swear to God, I clicked on Deal Four to them and tapped the Gear Hulk. But I 100% tapped it. It's it's 100% a bug. There's no way. Yeah, I clipped that shit. If, if nobody clips it, I can go back and watch the VOD, so it's not a huge deal, but. Could not tap your creatures in the future? Yeah, apparently. Okay. <laughs> it didn't matter. Alright, divide four damage. Okay. Choose two targets. Okay. One of these days, I will learn how to cast Magma Opus. Is Pioneer good? Should I be making decks? It's really good. I like it a lot. I think Pioneer's awesome. We get to play fucking Hinata in Magma Opus. Did I draw all four Opus that game? I think I drew all four Opus, right? Confirm or deny? Ooh, this one's really good against Verdict. I can, uh, I can phase out my creatures against the Verdict. That's kind of sick. <laughs> yeah, it's not my fault, right? All right. I'm a little... I'm sweating a little bit. I'm going to take the hoodie off. No more hoodie. No more hoodie season. The temperature has been so weird today. It was like... Super cold in the morning, to the point where I had to put my heat on, and now I'm fucking sweating. The temperature's been all over the place today. Uh, this hand does not have silver carried it, but it's pretty good, so I'll keep it. Yeah, you can play whatever lure stack your to your heart your heart contents. No, I don't live in I don't live in Canada. I live in Massachusetts. Foretold, huh? <sighs> Go. <clears throat> Pioneer is just as Luris heavy in, as modern. It is, however, I think Luris is a lot more tame in Pioneer. So I'm, ugh, I have sixed. I blame chat. So I think Luris is like kind of okay in Pioneer. I don't. I don't mind Luris in Pioneer as much as I mind it in modern. You know. I meant to yield until next end step, not yield through this turn. Okay. Uh, well, this is awkward. This is awkward. Oh. Okay, I got two lands, which is nice. Uh, put the... Simple Garden Exiled, I think. No, I actually want to hold up Negate this turn, so let's go Temple Garden Hand, this bottom, this Exile. And then discard. I could discard an Opus. For the Gear Hulk. I think that's good, right? Could also discard Backup Omnath, but... Discard an Opus. <clears throat> I agree with Killagerm. I think I think pre nerf Luris is the best card ever printed. I like I think that's a legitimate claim. Uh I don't want to play Omnath into Counterspell. 
I don't want to play Iteration. I'm just going to hold up mana here. I can, like, end of turn Prismari Command, and maybe next turn try to go Gear Hulk Negate back up. Oh, I don't have the Gear Hulk. I'm stupid. Forgot that I bought him the Gear Hulk. I'm not paying attention at all. All right, EOT. I kind of don't want to loot. I like my hand. I think I'm just going to kill this and make a treasure. Blue, red, green. I don't really care if they counter this. <clears throat> Saw it coming. Govin's Veto. Um, I mean, I guess now I could go land, Omnath, hold up, negate. Because they can't veto the Omnath. Yeah, I'm going to play land first. Go green, white, blue, red. I mean, tapping out here is maybe a little sus. If they just, like, slam to fairy, but... All right, still have six cards in their hand. I think Ancestral is stronger than Lurus. I mean, that's the competition, right? Ancestral, Lotus, that kind of stuff. But, like, all those cards are still legal in Vintage. Lurus is the only card that is banned in Vintage on power level reasons alone. So it's like, I don't know. It's different. It's definitely different. So this is probably Gear Hulk, right? But if they Gear Hulk, I can just tap the Gear Hulk. So I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack first, because I wanna I wanna see if they have Gear Hulk before I decide what I want to do with the rest of my turn. Okay, they're just taking. So now I think I crack fetch and play iteration. So let's get an island. Let's get a mountain. Mountain iteration. Let's see what's up. Hinata negate. So I think I put negate in my hand, this on the bottom, this exiled. And then we just cast Hinata and pass. Yeah, they could verdict me, but the hand out of us free anyway, so I don't really care if that gets swept up in a verdict. Do I fight over Hinata if they have a counterspell? They have four cards. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it's fine to fight over this. They have a veto. Alright, I'm gonna let Veto go, and then still in response to this, I'm gonna grow spell and try and spike the last negate. All right, did not hit. It's fine. Your turn. It's there at 12. So I shouldn't have six. Loris is legal and vintage now. It was banned when the, the pre-nerf, though. That's what we're saying, right? It was too good in vintage pre-nerf. Like, way too good. How much mana do I have? Three, six. I have nine mana. It's not quite enough. Like, I want to be able to hold up Opus here, so I think I'm just going to go tap land pass and just EOT the Opus, or if they tap out. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. It was it was completely broken pre errata I have three cards left. I think I'm just going to let this go. Claudio, thank you for the raid, buddy. Appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, from Claudio's stream. I'm guessing the challenge didn't go so well for you. Probably did better than I did. I went 0-2, so. <laughs> Alright, so what in the name of Greedy Piles? We're playing Hanada and Magma Opus. 
But this deck's kind of dope. I enjoyed this deck a lot. Punted by Gross Bug on round one. Is it a bug involving Magma Opus? Because we've run into a couple bugs with this card. Okay, so divide four damage. So one and three. Okay. Tap two permanents. Tap your two white lands. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Brian, thank you for the six months of tier one. Yeah, this deck's sweet. Oh, it, it did it did the thing, chat. It did the thing. Look. Targeting Shark Token for one. Opponent for three. Castle Arden Vale. How much? Uh three, six. For 141 million three hundred and sixty-nine or no, one billion four hundred and thirteen million six hundred and ninety-three thousand seven hundred and ninety-one damage. And then targeting the Skyclave Ballista for 5,132,000 dam and 105 damage. <laughs> I am playing it now. This isn't your Dono deck. I'm going to play it again on Thursday. Don't worry. I just wanted to do this for myself. We're going to get another Dono deck of this lib. We're going to get another Dono League of this deck. So they have five cards in hand. All right. Gas Narset. They have so many counter spells. Stop it! I just want to cast my cards, man. Stop it! I just want to cast my fucking cards. You leave them. You leave them alone. It's all four vetoes. Sure is. All four vetoes. <clears throat> Can I make a six mana cryptic good and pioneer? I mean, there were some people playing it in this deck because it has multiple targets, but. Yeah, I decided not to play Deluge. The list that you sent only had three hit out of three Opus. I went to four and four. I think you just have to play four of each. Like, that combo is so sick. It's possible you should cut an Omnath. I don't know that I want to commit a Hinata here. Oh, please charm this. Oh, thank god. I do not give a shit about that. I could care less. Please counter this. Please counter this. Is this Pioneer Money Tribal? This deck's actually not that expensive. Outside of Obnath and the lands. Are they actually countering this? Uh, Alright, make red. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do that and then counter the Omnath, but that's fine because I have a third one. Oh, they even they cleared the top of my deck, which is even better for me. What's up, Claudia? Uh hand. Bottom Exile? I'm not going to play Hinata into Wrath, right? Yeah, I'm not going to play Hinata into Wrath. You should play an Intervention in the sideboard. Heliod's Intervention, right? Maybe. Do you like the Blue March? I don't know if I like that card. I haven't, I haven't drawn it yet. Yeah, we're playing four of the White March. But we have one of the Blue March. I don't know if that card's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, it's kind of weird. Like, they're going to Deluge, which makes me kind of want to play Hinata. No, I'm just going to stand pat. I'm just going to chill. The question is, if they play Deluge, do I end of turn the the Magma Opus? I think I do, right? Like, even though they're going to Verdict me, do I really care if they Verdict me? Because my hand is just all threats anyways. Mm. 
I think I'm just going to cast this now. Like, I know I'm going to get verdicted, but I just don't really care. Should have left up white mana, but... Oh, now it's 49 damage. Ooh, that's actually really good. Because if they verdict me, I could just phase out my Omnath. Actually, I phase out the token, right? Yeah, I just phase out the token. No, I don't want to pitch a card. I don't think pitching a card here is worth it. I have, I have another Omnath in my hand. Yeah, you're allowed to phase tokens. Tokens don't... It, phasing is not the same as leaving the battlefield and coming back. Well, because I have to exile a card. I don't think it's worth exiling a card there. You know what I mean? I guess they could have charm. Probably have charm here, right? Shark for three. Why did they tap out? Why would they tap out? Why don't they just make a 1-1? One, one? Alright, Omnath. Blue, red, white, green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't have quite enough to kill them. Oh no, I do, because... Yeah, 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 with the Hinata, right? Oh no. Do I have enough to kill them? 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have 3 mana to cast the Opus. No, because I need to deal four to them. So I need to go four and then tap two lands so it would cost five mana. Yeah. So I just don't... Mm, I could play Hinata. Because even if they have Verdict, I have another Hinata anyways. I think I'll just play it. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, jam him out to make them kill it. They have to have another verdict. They have dig? Well, if they dig into verdict, they lose, right? Because the... they Well, they could go dig, verdict, blue source, counterspell, maybe? I think the only companion you could reasonably play is Gigantha, but you'd have to cut Settle and Gear Hulk. I don't know if you want to cut Settle and Gear Hulk. You could Yorion, but then you're drawing Hinata less often, so I don't know. Alright, let's make sure I cast this correctly. Four damage. Two target permanents. Okay. Yep, 49 damage. Yep, 49. Yep, 49. I kind of want to mulligan every hand that doesn't have carry, dude. Like, this hand just sucks, right? It's just so slow. It's actually, this, this, this hand's better, I think. Put back Opus. Or maybe Second Spiral. Yeah, Second Spiral's probably bad. You thought about playing Reclamation in this deck? XD. Phoenix. And I'll raise you like a phoenix. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Hands without a Man Accelerant is cheeks. Is there any chance you want to play like 10 Man Accelerants? I don't know what the extra Man Accelerant would be. Like Paradise Druid or some shit? Magma Copium or Magma Copus. Yep, Copus. Yep, Copus. White mana. That is not white mana. I guess we're just loot treasuring.
just go like Steam Vents Tapped Pass. Opus Treasure. Yeah. Maybe that would have been a good line. Just make a treasure, play this untapped, kill the thing in the ice. That might have been better. Yeah, maybe you're right. Where are we on Settle over Verdict? Because Settle costs three mana with Hinata. I don't know if that's relevant, but... Or I don't know how relevant it is. It's probably relevant, but... All right, red, green, blue. Draw two, treasure. So discard Opus, discard land. Untap, slam, gear hulk, win the game. <clears throat> Magma Opus. Uh, divide four damage. Okay. Two permanents. Okay. Make a four four, draw two cards. This card is so broken. Oh. Damn. They can't even lightning axe my gear hulk now. Is this deck just broken, chat? What do you think? Final orange energy coverage, modern companion count, 9 out of 14, 7 out of, no 7 out of 9 Luris. Jesus Christ. And that is the broken card. Is it? I mean, we just don't draw it that often, but... They double lightning axe me? Oh, they have three phoenixes? Oh, fuck. Uh, that's really bad. Like, really bad, because I don't have white mana. Oh. Well, I guess we lose. I don't think I have any outs, right? Nope. Alright, we're dead. F. F, F, F. Alright. Uh, oh, we don't have deafening silence? That seems like a mistake. We have rest in peace. So two rest in peace. Settle's bad, right? I mean, I guess Settle is decent against Phoenix. Narset's good or no? Maybe all this stuff? What should we cut? It's four Settle's probably too many, right? Playing Rip in this deck seems loose. Well, you can just cut Gear Hulk, right? Like, I assume when you bring in Rip, you just cut your Hulk. Which is fine, because Rip is insane against them. Like, Rip is just game over against them. So I don't I don't mind cutting Gear Hulk for Rip. Chat, I'm cutting Gear Hulk. It's fine. I'm, cu I'm literally cutting Gear Hulk. Because if this card if this card resolves, you win the game. Yeah, Gear Hulk's not that great against Dispute anyways. I feel like 4 Settle is too much. I feel like three is probably right. Shave on Hinata Opus. Yeah, because it's so bad against Dispute. I'm down with that. Got the commands. Command's pretty bad. How's that look? Looks good, right? Got Blue March. Couple holes. I mean, we have four March to deal with to deal with Thing in the Ice, right? I don't know if I want more than four answers to Thing in the Ice. I think this is fine. No, I know that, but like, do I need more than four answers to Thing in the Ice? Because March doesn't kill anything else anyways, you know? <laughs> oh, Claudio, you missed that. I opened a Kappa Cannoneer. I 4-1 in my first league. Opened my chest, opened a Kappa Cannoneer. Instantly sold it. Is that the most most expensive card on Magic Online right now? I think it is. No Kappa. 
Alright, please give me white mana. Please give me white mana! White mana! Thank you. Question is, what do we play first? I think I play this first, because then they're pretty incentivized to just tap out for pieces, and then I slam this and the game's over. I'm just going to kill this main phase. I don't want them negating it. And I think if I do this, they're probably just going to tap out for pieces, and then I just slam this. See? Big brain. Large brain. Moderately sized brain. I'm going to hold up Gross Spiral, I think. Okay. I should have responded to that and played Gross Spiral in case they wanted to counter the Gross Spiral, but... I also don't really care if they counter Gross Spiral, so... Okay... I could get disputed. Hmm. <clears throat> it's an awkward spot. I could iteration to play around dispute. I could Hinata. Hinata's bad against Axe though. How has Pioneer been for you overall lately? I've been enjoying it a lot more than modern time. Yeah. You just iterate. Yeah, I feel like we can probably play this game around Dispute for the most part. Yeah, I'm down with that. Uh, so I guess we go Hand, Bottom, Exile, and then just run this into a, into a Negate. And then we can just do this next turn. Should I play around Blood Moon? Yeah, if they flip the thing in the ass, March still kills it. So, if Spell Pierce, okay, no, good. So rest in peace and play two things down. I feel like we're doing pretty good here. I don't really care about that. Discard Trespass. Yep, Delve Guards. Yeah, they can't dispute the March. They could have negated it though. Okay, second Omnath means I kind of don't mind the I kind of don't mind running into dispute here. I mean It's probably still just fine to play the iteration here. And then if I find a land I can play the Omnath. So hand the opus, bottom this, exile this, and then just play on math. What if I played Hinata here? No, I think Hinata's more important. Yeah, I think Hinata's more important. Did I play the Green Black Scales deck? Uh, I did not play it on stream, no. Well, we played two matches on stream, and then I finished the league off stream. I ended up just... I, I wasn't really in the right mindset. I, I played like shit, but... We started off 2-0. and oh. Deck felt powerful. I think Ferrando was playing it in the challenge. I don't know if he's still doing well. <sighs> what did they reveal? They put... <laughs> well, they only got Galvanic Iteration. Okay. Um, I think I should play Hinata here, because I have two of them, and if it resolves, I can play Opus. Oh, I actually can't play Opus. I don't have an extra target. I'm one target short. Okay, this is probably a bad play. If they axe it, I'll probably just phase it out, right? Yeah, if they axe, I can just phase it out. Yeah, the list that we were playing earlier, Claudio, I don't know if you saw this, but we found an interaction between Mercatized Soul Ripper and then cards that have abilities when they go to the graveyard, like Hanger Backwalker and Iron Apprentice. So we were utilizing that along with Scales and Snake. I think the shell of this deck is really dope, um, but it just needs some trimming. Like, I think Song was pretty bad. I kind of want more Disputes. I think, like, Module is kind of medium, potentially more Ozolith. But the, the, the core felt pretty good. 
Yeah, so th this card is insane. It's ridiculously powerful. Deck needs more creatures that can crew it without scales. Mystical Disputes. Is there any you're thinking in particular? Doing that main phase in case I hit a passage, but... Rakdos Cackler? Uh, I mean, Rakdos Cackler is a 3-3 with the Hardened Scales. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's, like, not the most embarrassing thing in the world, right? It's not that bad. How much does this cost? I, can't, I have enough, right? Two, three, four... And then I go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have enough. I'm just going to main phase it. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't need to pay two life. What am I saying? Whoops. I did not need to pay two life. Oh, no, because I want to kill their phoenix. I did need to pay two life. Yes. You were playing this? Let's see. Hangerback, Stone Coil, Apprentice, Smith, Patchwork. Oh, so you're playing white and black and green. Okay. Gotcha. So you you didn't have Constrictor though. I feel like I feel like the deck really needed the eighth the scales five through eight. Cause like I personally I felt like you didn't have like you just had so many not 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 necessarily non functional draws, but like extremely mediocre draws when you didn't draw a scales effect. So, like, I really, really liked having eight of them. Maybe eight is too much. Maybe seven is right. But, yeah, Soul Ripper is insane. That card is that card was really good for me. Smith is just better than Constrictor. I mean, you could play both, right? March, Settle, Omnath, Lands, huh? I'm gonna keep this. This hand's like not exciting, but yeah, you could also play uh, Conclave Mentor. But Conclave Mentor being a two-two versus two-three when every when they're all the red decks play Shock, <sighs> they just skip their turn. Too free for the bean. Had it the whole time. They F6 their turn and I rip rest in peace. I don't want them countering this. I'm just going to kill it now. Uh, do I want to run Omnath into dispute? No, I'm good. Chillin'. We're chillin'. Does the Constrictor also increase the number of poison counters you get? It does. I think. Or no, no, no. Well, it increased the, the number of poison counters you get, yes. It doesn't increase the number of poison counters your opponent gets. I mean, I'm gonna play around dispute the whole game, right? If I played around it last turn, I'm 100% playing around it this turn. I think this deck wants a 1 of Odawara. Potentially. I could see that. That card's good. Given the option between Team or Rhinos, GDS, or Blue Red Mark Time to play for tomorrow, what would y'all take? Uh, I mean, if you're trying to win GDS for sure, it's just the best deck. 
It's the best deck by so much. Should I settle this? No, I'm gonna wait. Tapped horribly wrong. I want to leave up iteration mana, but I also want to leave up green mana. So, blue, red, white, green. Yeah. Pog! I actually should not have played the fetch. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, sure. It's dead. I guess I'm still playing around Dispute, huh? <laughs> Alright, go. <laughs> I'll take three. I mean, I could just play around Dispute the whole game, because I have so much mana. Chicken is too slow. Be nice if I drew a spell. <clears throat> Settle cost three. Now it does. My opponent has conceded from the game. Uh, this hand's bad, right? Yeah. This hand's not great, but I think it's better than going to five. Back passage. Because I might want to cast March for two on curve. <clears throat> I guess like 50 bucks max. Yeah, I, pay, I paid, I think I paid 60 for the quarter. But it was those cards plus marches, so. Ooh, had it. Is that a good draw step? <laughs> well then, <laughs> well then. Sensor? Ah, whatever, dude. I'm not gonna play around Sensor. Fuck it. Show me. Ended up building Esper, Grease Fang, and Pioneer, and then immediately discovered the Grease Fang and Parhelion are bugged. Wait, they're, what do you mean they're bugged? How are they bugged? I think I'm upkeeping this. I think, they, I think they have Spell Pierce. I, I guess I'll play around Spell Pierce. I miss one damage by playing around Spell Pierce. I don't think the one damage matters that much. You have zero opportunity to crew. Uh, do you have a do you have a beginning of combat stop step? Because <laughs> you need a beginning of combat stop. Yeah, that deserted beach took sixty four damage. Just saying, portable hole. All right, fine. Oh, I'm stupid. <sighs> I'm so dumb. I forgot that these aren't two separate triggers. I just forgot about that. I'm sorry, Chad. I forgot about that. I just forgot about that. I I'm used to them not being two separate triggers, but that's just not a good excuse. It's just stupid. God damn it. I think I don't want to run this into a wrath. I mean, if they wrath me, I still get my card out of it, right? It's like makes them have it, right? Jamming is not that bad. I kind of want to jam. I'm going to jam. I don't know if it's right, but I'm jamming. We'll take that. Had I not fucked up and cast the March, I would have 100% not cast the Omnath, and I would have won this game, but...
white, blue, green, red. It's a good draw. <laughs> yeah. Well, I need to get. I need to get. I need to win one more match to get my last two QPs for the showcase tomorrow. So I need to win one of these next two matches. Because four one is two QPs. I only need two more QPs to play the showcase tomorrow. So one more Dubski. Before I the showcase, legacy. It's not bad. <clears throat> so hand bottom exile. Uh hand bottom exile. And I don't have mana for Prismari command, so taps go. I have a lot more cards, but my cards don't really do anything is the problem. Save the fetch land for Omnath. I'm not going to cast Opus this turn. I'm likely just going to cast Prismari Command. Just Loot Shock. That's not good for me. Could cast this Opus now. Nah, that's bad. I'm just going to wait. Do you know what I'm going to play? No, I have no idea. <clears throat> Shock to nine. Okay. Okay. I don't want to just go upstairs. Yeah, I'm going to go upstairs. So, two damage, draw two. Two damage, draw two. Blue, red, bit. <laughs> they have absorb. Potentially. It, they probably do have a three mana counter spell, but. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. So now we can cast Growth Spiral. Which mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Try tapping to Barry. <laughs> Just debating if I want to cycle this Opus. Um, I think I don't. <laughs> I have four cards. It's good chill. <clears throat> March does not target Planeswalkers, Jeff. Artifact creature or enchantment. I have nine mana. All right, let's lead on Omnath. White, blue, green, red. I assume this gets countered. That sucks. Just play Hinata, I guess. One mana short. I really wanted to be able to go Hinata Opus there, but being one mana short kind of sucks. Uh, I think I'm going to lose this game. Fuck! Residential Sleeper. Okay. It's like, not a bad draw. Potentially. Go. Oh, damn it, man. I 
really hate blue white. <laughs> it's just like so boring. I mean, at whatever, dude. You win. Just don't care. So fucking boring. It's just like really, really boring to play against. Need some mysticals? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we have negates, but. It's about making your opponent miserable. Well, my opponent succeeded in doing that. I guess it doesn't take much to do that, but. I mean, we beat Blue White earlier this league. Like, pretty easily. I think it's probably a favorable matchup. Why are you playing Chalice? Maybe otherworldly Chalice. Chalice of life. Just reveal Luris, yeah. That's all it takes, really. I guess I'll just play the other Spiral. I was going to cycle there, but... I'm saving the Triumph specifically to cycle. Because I am flooding out. Well, now I kind of want to play it. Awkward. Guess I maybe should have played it last turn, but I still wouldn't have had enough to play Opus. Eh, land go. I don't want to cast these commands yet, because, like, I don't want to discard any of these cards necessarily. The Wandering Emperor, huh? Uh, I could just go... Two treasure twice. Oh, I could actually go. Oh, I can cycle Opus and then Gear Hulk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let that resolve. Yeah. Okay, this is good. I can just kill it. I can just I can just cycle Opus and then play it. Yeah, but I'd rather just play. I'd rather just resolve Opus here. I think. Right. Yeah, I'd rather just resolve Opus. They can activate in response. Yeah, but it's only plus one. It's, the Opus deals four. Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter if they can plus in response. For the token. Oh, sure, they can make a token. Whatever. They have a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, they're probably just going to cast Wrath anyways. The 2-2 two -two is relevant. the name of this playlist anyways on spotify it's just called i think it's called lo-fi beats yeah it's just called lo-fi beats lo-fi beats it's a good playlist they aren't slamming it yeah i mean maybe they're trying to wait and see if they get more value out of it but i'm just i'm not gonna play any more creatures this is this is good enough for me I can even get really aggressive and just kill the token. Kill the token, loot away the carry did. It's like pretty aggressive, but I kind of like it. Uh, two damage, loot, two damage, draw cards. Yeah, negate only costing one with Hinata, but like dispute also costs two on anything, right? Discard the spiral. 
Yeah, I want to keep both Omnaths, I think. Yeah, I'm just not going to play anything else. No. Proceed. Take nine. You may proceed. You cast Supreme Verdict. Okay. Uh, wonder if it's worth holding the passage because I don't want to play the Prismarine Command this turn uh, I guess I could just go passage, crack it, main phase Prismarine Command, loot, and then discard the Sylvan Carry did or I could just play Sylvan Carry did, hold the passage Mm, I don't know. Interesting. Well, I mean, I guess if I'm holding the passage, do I even play the carry? Because I might just want to hold it to discard to command. I could just do nothing. I think doing nothing makes the most sense, actually. Just pass. Because I don't want to play the carry because re I'd rather just discard it to command. And I think if they have some way to kill this, I'd rather just hold up. Like if they have March or something or a verdict, I'd rather just have this in hand for the for this next turn. But like, maybe it's worth playing the carry for the extra mana. Not sure. Wonder if Mill could be good in Pioneer. I mean, you have what? Maddening Cacophony, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. The problem with Tasha's in, in Pioneer is there's not as many Lurus decks as there are in Modern, so you don't just get those free wins off of Tasha's. I don't know. It's probably not bad, but... March of Otherworldly Lights. But they pitched. So they have dispute. I mean, I could just play my land first, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna play my land first. I think they have veto. Aether Gust. All right, I kind of want to respond and crack the fetch because I want a Prismari command. Yeah, I'm gonna respond and crack the fetch. And just put it on top. <sighs> of course. Of course. So, I mean, I can't really afford to play around a counterspell, so I guess I just have to go Shock, Treasure, Untap, Slam, Opus, and hope it's good enough. It's probably not going to be good enough. And if I'm not playing around a counterspell, I'm just going to upkeep it. Cast four, okay. Uh, tap, tap, okay. Well, dude, you in. We need this dub. We need this dub to get our last two QPs, please. Preach. Jengatha. Uh, the sand is the poops. Sands pretty good. Um, what should I put back against Jengatha? Spiral? Maybe Opus? What do you think, Jet? Spiral, Opus, or Land? Putting back a Land and keeping the Spiral seems kind of weird. 
think I just put back Opus. It's likely Ascendancy. Makes me kind of want to put back Opus even more. No, I want to keep the March. If they're Jagatha, they, they're either a creature-based deck or Ascendancy, and I need March against both those decks. I think I'm going to put back Opus. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like Ascendancy. Oh, maybe not. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what is happening? I don't know any of these cards. Legendary creatures you can control and the battlefield condition of plus the most encounter on them. Okay, cool. And this thing. Okay. Well, I don't have any other plays. I'm just going to play Nagiri did, but. Playing Fire Tribal? Yeah, apparently. We got a Mox. Mox is powerful. Am I going to get destroyed? I get destroyed. I really hope I don't, because I would like to win this last match. Domri, Anarch of Bolas. Okay. Get a mana. They have Bard class in their hand. Okay. Ooh. Play Bard class. Okay. Which I probably have to march. But I can march if they go to play a legendary creature. Yeah, I'm just going to hold up march here. And I can play Omnath next turn. I feel like I shouldn't let them, uh, you know, go nuts with this card. So I'm just going to pass. Yeah, I'll wait till they activate it. Or wait till they play a legendary creature. And then I'll kill it. Oath of Nisa. Okay. What do they got? They have a basic mountain. What kind of legendary creatures do they play? Besides, like, these shitty 1-1, one -one, or these shitty 1-drops. I assume they have some big legendary creatures they're trying to kill. Like, is this a combo deck? <laughs> they're all kind of bad. <laughs> okay. What's the What's the combo? Why are they passing? I mean, I guess I'll still just kill this end of turn, right? Like. <clears throat> the combo is having Bard Class and activating it? Okay, I gotcha. Well, I killed the Bard Class, so. It's probably a good sign for me. Alright, passage, 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 passage. Passage! Passage! Passage. Dealer? Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> when the board is full up, he can cast the entire deck. Wait, I don't actually know what the combo is, though. This thing just shits out 1-1s. One okay. The final mode on Bard class. 
Oh. And all their stuff costs less. I gotcha. I see. Their turn is make a 3-2. I think I can beat make a 3-2. Uh, no blocks. So I can just kill the Construct, kill the Domri. Oh, I could just murder them, right? Just go Shatter, Shock, kill Domri. Mm -hmm. Two damage, Shatter. What you're seeing here is their plan B. Their, their plan B doesn't look exciting. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. It doesn't look exciting. Not not the most exciting. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Plan Q. Zanagos. That card's pretty good. Alright, so green, blue, spiral. Kinda wanna shock here, just in case I find something good to cast off of this growth spiral. Okay, seven mana of eight next turn. Uh, Texanagos, make the chump block, yada yada. As long as we keep holding up March for Bard class, then I assume we're fine. But... Xenagos is the best card in their deck. I thought Bard class was the best card in their deck. Whoa. All right, cool. It's, in, it's a card. That is a card. Torrential Gear Hulk. All right, so let's go discard. And then. Cast Gear Hulk. Target the Opus. They have conceded from the game. I like that every time you type in dance. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. Uh, what's good against them? Portable Hole kills Bard class. Rest in peace seems bad. These seem bad. This seems bad. These cards seem potentially good. Uh, what's bad against them? Nothing, right? The hell do I cut? Settle can get them, but if they're smart, they can beat it. Would you bring in Portable Hole just to have like seven answers to Bard class? Oh, I guess Wear Tear also kills Bard class. Yeah. Do you just, like, not want any settles then? Yeah, Hole deals with Mox, too, and their legendary creatures. Yeah, I probably want these portable holes. Just no settles then. Feels weird to not have settle, but... Yeah, Torrential's pretty slow. Probably not necessary. I'll buy that. And then cut this. Play the two Wear Tears. Yeah, I like that. Looks good. Mm, sounds great. I keep. Opponent also kept seven. Tap land. Like that. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> Just answer every bard class. All right, well, we have two answers to bard class in this hand, so it's got to be good, right? Class number one. Uh, I assume I should just kill it now. 
I guess I'll just play Ketria Triumph and pass and try to get them to burn mana into it. Because this kills more than... Like, I'd rather use the Wear Tear because this kills less. Seems like a good turn. <laughs> Seems like a good turn. Are we off it already? No, nope. Timber Crown Pathway. Okay. Let's play Triome Pass. We find a Fabled Passage, we can Omnath Passage next turn. <laughs> Sparks with the Prime for three months. Thank you very much for the three Sparks. Appreciate that. Don't forget, chat, if you have Amazon Prime, they give you one free sub a month. Don't forget to make sure you are utilizing that Amazon Prime. You don't want to let that go to waste. Moxin. We Moxin. Targ Nar, Demon Fang Knoll. So, Grizzly Bear. Okay. Drax. Another Bard class. Okay. Mm, so I can portable hole the class and then kill these two. Let's go... Portable hole, the bard class. Kill these two. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> so sequencing there. I mean, well, they wanted to play the mox before the legendary, right? To make sure they got the mana off of it. I thought Omnath was banned by an ear. Nope. It's legal. <laughs> It's also really fucking good. Alright, you may proceed. No spell, no land to play. Four spells. If I had a portable hole, what would I do with it? Uh, You mean IRL portable hole? I'd probably use it as a restroom, I guess. Right? Portable... I don't know. Portable. I don't know where I'm going with this. Mm. Let's loot. Uh, two damage. Loot. Red, green, blue. Deck. <laughs> oh no, they can play Domri now. Oh no! They can play Domri now. Or not Domri. Oh, a Bergy. Should probably kill that thing. One, two, three, four. Probably should kill that one. <laughs> this is just Yep Omnath. Yep Omnath. Grum Gully. Alright, I'm not going to kill that one. That one they can have. Tech. I should just probably upkeep this, right? Tap the red mana. I assume they're going to scoop when I cast this. We got the two QPs, chat. We now have enough QPs to play the Legacy Showcase Challenge. Look at that. Nice 40 QPs. Nice and clean. 